How to place an order, step-by-step -step procedure for active web users. See the related videos, logging into active web and how to perform searches in active web. Step 1. Log in to active web. Step 2. Add inventory items to the cart. When using a search, activate the My Cart icon for one or all results. When using the Batch Edition function, in the My Cart tab, expand the Batch Edition section by clicking on it. Select the type of information to enter, number, RC number, field 1, description, or barcode. Enter each item on a different line and enter the recipient's name. Specify if the items are returning to the record center or if they will stay permanently out. Step 3. Add non-inventory items to the cart. To add inbox files. Find the box in which the file should be and click on the file icon. Enter the file's description, number, and or field 1 information. Change the recipient's name if needed and specify if the file will be permanently out. Press on Add to Order. To add open shelf files. In the My Card tab, expand the non inventoried file section by clicking on it. Enter the file's information in the correct fields. Change the recipient's name if needed and specify if the file will be permanently out. Press on Add. Step 4. Edit the order details. To change item details, by default the recipient's name is the same as the authorized users. When you change it, the system will give you options to select from. These are taken from the recipient section of the Options tab. Copy over the recipient name in the items below, click on the down arrow. Return indicates the item is sent back to the record center. Permanently out means the item will stay at your offices permanently. To delete items, press on the red X icon beside the item. To add returns or pickups, expand the return section by clicking on it. Select an item type, enter a quantity, and press on Add. To add box sales, Expand the box sale section by clicking on it. Enter the quantity of boxes to order, select a department, and change the recipient if needed. Press on Add Box Sale. To add shredding or recycling services to an order, expand the shredding recycling section by clicking on it. Select a service, a shredding container, enter the correct quantity, select a department, and change the recipient if needed. Press on Add. To add line items to an order, expand the line items section by clicking on it. Select an item, enter the correct quantity, select a department, and change the recipient if needed. Press on Add Line Items. Specify the delivery information. Select a delivery type, specify an address, and enter special instructions if needed. Step 5. Submit the order by pressing on the correct button. Step 6. View and print the order confirmation report. The order slip indicates which items were ordered and which were rejected along with the reason. The number of each item as well as the order details are also on this report. Lastly, it indicates which items are currently in-house at your offices. You can print the report or close a window when you are done viewing it. For more information, contact support at docudatasoft.com.